pipe is made but still needs the sound, it has no sound. Uh, it needs a mouth. I'm going to cut open a mouth here. Uh, straighten it out and bring it to a, an approximate height. I'll have to uh, take little steps at a time to, uh, to get it right. And now it makes a sound. Uh, a bit on the rough side, needs to be uh, smoothed out, so um, there could be different reasons, either it's maybe too loud, this flue is too large, or the cut up here is uh, not high enough, um, it looks like it's not high enough right now, so I'm going to do some more cutting. Okay, now I um, need to do some treatments to the languid. Really blunting the edge of the languid. The tone doesn't um, speak promptly. Uh, that means there's something not, languid is not positioned right. So I'm going to down the language a bit and see. So it's much better already, but it still needs a little more. It's still too slow. And now it looks like it it's, could be right. We'll really see in here when we have it on the voicing chest. Here needs to be coned yet to fit into the countersunk hole on the wind chest. So here's the pipe. Um, should be finished now. Now the chance to tune it. It's uh, about a half a step low. So I have now, now I'm going to tune it. This is the tuning process. Changing the length of the pipe. Cutting off a certain amount to see Still, the, the difference between those two notes is still quite considerable. So I'm still safe to cut off some more. Still flat. I made, I made very sure that it's going to be long enough and I measured it. It's getting closer now. Now I have to be careful, starting just taking smaller amounts. Still a little bit too long. Too long is low. Now you're starting to hear the beats the beats, which is the difference between the tuned pipe and the untuned pipe. You hear that beat. That's the amount, that's the amount that is still out of tune and I'm calculating in my brain, I guess, how many millimeters that, that is. So that if, if I, see if I make this lower, longer by touching it on the top, then this will go into in tune. There's no beat, that means it's in tune. Now, uh, the last the smaller amount of fine tuning I'll be doing with the chisel here. Take smaller amounts off. And I'm going to just cut it slightly short um, in order to be able to cone the pipe. And
and the cone, that's, that's what's used to tune the organ once it's all finished. In case pipes go out of tune, they will be coned in with a, with a bell like that. It's a, Now it's perfectly in tune with this one. It has a nice speech and a uh, nice fundamental sound, and I think that's for now, as far as the pre voicing goes, this is enough. The rest is done and on site where the organ is going to go, at the church or wherever it's going. <laughs>